rows of benches. Each seems to softly echo a goodbye never spoken. Flowing in the same path of American Airlines Flight 77, the benches bear the names of the 184 innocent lives taken at the Pentagon on September 11, 2001. Jim Lachak sits on a bench engraved with his brother's name. We heard from uh, my dad and my uncle, uh, my brother Mike, who all had reason to be at the Pentagon, but we never, never heard from Dave. Most of us can remember what we were doing at the exact moment we heard the news that day. But every year, a million people visit the Pentagon Memorial, and many of them don't have that memory, according to the chair of the Pentagon Memorial Fund, Sean Tanaki. Most of these are allowed school groups. They weren't born. A new project will teach them. The Pentagon Memorial Fund is raising money to build a visitor education center between the memorial and Arlington National Cemetery. Inside, the center will tell stories and bring context to the rows of benches outside. Each row of benches is arranged by the birth year of the victim. The names are on the end, and if you're reading a name and facing the Pentagon, that means that that person was working inside the Pentagon on 9-11. And if the name faces away, you look to the sky, and that was a passenger on the plane. But the education center would not only be about this, it would be about how much our entire world has changed since 9-11. The theme, if you will, of the Visitor Education Center is about response. How we responded at a local level, how we responded at a, a national level, how we responded at an international level. Building a deeper understanding of where we've come since Jim lost his brother Dave. And that's what he would have wanted us to do, go on living the life and uh, you know, do the best you can, and, which is what I'm trying to do with the, the Memorial, uh, Pentagon Memorial Fund and focus on the Visitor Education Centers. A personal mission for the benefit of every American. Reporting in Arlington through Wilder News 4.